See, when Will Smith, well, let his wife Jada, uh-huh, drag him all over Red Table Talk, you know, telling us all about their entanglements, how she's in love with Tupac, and how Will couldn't uh, satisfy her uh, in the bedroom. He thought it was all fun and games. Now it's starting to hurt his career and his bank account. What's up and welcome to Delightful D. I'm your host DJ. Go ahead and put a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe and let's get into the numbers. So King Richard, the biographical movie about the father of Venus and Serena Williams came in at a disappointing 5.7 million dollars during its opening weekend. Now let's think about that. That's 5.7 million dollars for a movie that had a 50 million dollar budget. That means the movie only grossed roughly 11.4 percent of what it took to make. Now in contrast, one of Will Smith's popular movies, I Am Legend, opened to over 77 million dollars in the first three days alone. So you know this has to hit Will right where it hurts in his heart to know that he could not bring a bigger audience to this film when it was so important to him. Now, there are a lot of theories floating around the internet right now about why the film effectively flopped. One of them is that HBO Max simultaneously showing this movie cut into the sales, but I'm going to debunk that right now because it really didn't do well on HBO Max either. Another theory is that the pandemic, you you know, it's caused people to stay home. People don't want to go to the theater. That sounds good on the surface, but when you look at the fact that Ghostbusters, which also opened in the same weekend as King Richard, brought in $44 million, it doesn't really hold up. And last but not least, folks were wondering if, you know, maybe it's that old saying about black films not doing well. And I just simply don't buy that. Black films do well at the box office when it's what people want to see. My theory and what some folks on Twitter are also saying is that the personal life of Will Smith has become so messy and so uncomfortable that Will Smith can no longer bring in the big audiences. Now, before you disagree with me, hear me out. Jada has genuinely hurt the brand of Will Smith. She may have wanted to be transparent about their marriage, but it has had an effect that is hurting Will Smith's brand as a serious actor, as a heartthrob, as someone that we want to see on our screen. Jada has basically pulled her man's pants down in public and told us about all the ways that he is inadequate and I don't think it's helping Will's career. Now Will has some responsibility in this because not only has he allowed Jada to do this without consequence but he's even joined in doing ridiculous interviews where he's telling us about how he threw up after sex because he'd had so much of it and how he's had thoughts about taking revenge out in a violent way. I mean, essentially, Will has helped destroy his own brand brick by brick. And there is even a running joke on Twitter now where folks just put a post on their page saying everything I've learned about Will and Jada's marriage, I have learned against my own will. So yes, I think that Will's personal life has begun to overshadow his career. He has let Jada Pinkett Smith 
open the doors to their bedroom and it has not been flattering in any way whatsoever. And I honestly don't know if Will Smith can come back from this. He's older now, he's at a place in his career where the projects that he takes on will have to be more selective naturally. And I actually loved this movie. It was amazing. If you haven't, check out my review of the movie. I thought it was wonderful, but I can't help but thinking that Will Smith really allowed his personal life to overshadow what could have been an amazing opening at the box office. He could still be in the running for Oscars, but this makes it a lot more difficult to make the case. What do you think about all this? Is Will Smith's personal brand beginning to hurt his career? Is that why the movie flopped? Let me know in the comments below.